Hey everyone, today we're going to be discussing Google Analytics. Um, Google Analytics is a very powerful platform that allows you to monitor the traffic to your website. Um, whether it's trying to figure out which ads are working, if you're using something like AdWords, or if you're um, paying for sponsored spots on other websites, uh, that's another great way. Or if it's just general traffic, people searching Google for your product, or people going directly to it, it's all here. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Uh, after we get done with that, I'm just going to show you a, a site that we just finished. I can show you the before and after, so it's pretty interesting to see the transformation. And since we're going to learn some terms here, I'll also uh, just let you know what the difference actually was in the analytics for the website, you know, having the old one versus the new one and the benefits that came with that. All right, so we're just going to get started. First, I'm going to show you this is the general dashboard. You can do pretty much see just an overview of all the information before you dive deeper. This is just a chart that shows you day by day what traffic you had. So on this Monday, they had 24 visits, then Tuesday, 11, and so on. You can do day by day. Um, if you were wondering, this is just, this is actually a coffee shop website that we did. Um, these guys, great guys, a coffee shop in the North End, if you're ever around there. They actually don't sell the coffee uh, brewed, but they sell the grounds. Uh, they get it shipped in from all over. You should check them out, polcariscoffee.com. Anyway, moving on. Um, you can also segment it by certain time frames. So if you wanted to see, you know, a much longer date, you could start in November of 2010 and go up till today. Uh, I'm going to keep it on here for now. But by default, it will always start about a month. So February 26th to March 28th. In this uh, case, you can also compare it to the past by hitting this checkbox. And you can compare it to the same time last year, or you can compare it to, you know, two months ago for a month, whatever you want to do. That's very effective also. But for this tutorial, we're just going to go over um, for a month's time frame. You can even do it by the day if you want to see how many hits I got today. All right, so that's that. The first item on this list is the amount of visits that you've had during this time frame up here. So 563 visits to the site. Um, not too bad for a little local coffee shop. Uh, these guys never would have guessed they had they would get so many even any visits. So it's pretty they're pretty happy. Uh, bounce rate 0.18 percent. This is actually um, I didn't do this on purpose. This is my best. This is our best site I should say for um, bounce rate. Uh, the average usually with sites is anywhere between 30 and 50 percent. Um, bounce rate is actually if somebody comes onto your website and only stays on one page and then leaves. So if they come on your website, they're on the home page, they say either this isn't relevant or this website stinks, I'm getting right off and not going into any other page of the site. That would be considered a bounce. And they're at 0.18%, which is really good. Uh, page views, that's just out of these 563 visits, how many different pages did they all view? So average pages per visit, 9.1. Um, I didn't even know that there was nine pages in the site, so that's probably every, there's probably 10 pages in the site or 11 pages in the site, and they're, everybody, a lot, most of the people are viewing, except 0.18% of them are actually looking at all the pages. Moving on, you have new visits. The this system actually will recognize if a computer has been on the website before, it recognizes their IP address. So you can actually see, is this somebody that's been on the site? Is it me looking at the site 100 times? Well, no, it isn't because it's 88% of the people that have gone on the site are actually new people. So those are all new potential customers and yeah you still get 12 percent of the people that are probably regulars and want to see if you've updated any of the items on the site here we got view visitors overview that's another way you can if you expand this you can um, see you absolute unique visitors that's where it got that 80 percent 80 something percent number that was shown before average time on site a minute 35 uh, that is a little bit low, but that's mostly due to the fact that there's not a ton of 
writing or content in the website so you can only really stay on for so long uh, a lot of those people are probably just browsing the menus and then um, hitting the contact page and either getting a mail order item or finding their phone number all right you can actually even find out what browsers people are looking at your site internet explorer firefox safari chrome you might wonder why this is relevant um, if you're going to be getting your website developed you want to definitely make sure that uh, the browsers that are most commonly viewing your website are compatible with the website so for instance if you don't ever use chrome you might not think to test the site in chrome but you know if you look at here about a quarter year a little under a quarter of your traffic is coming from Chrome so you want to make sure that's compatible maybe download it just make sure that everything's working fine that way we're gonna go back to the dashboard also on the dashboard is the map overlay you can expand this um, this tells you where the visits are coming from uh, here's the different countries that are seeing this site we're gonna do the United States and that'll break it down into cities and you can go as specific as towns so we're going to go in Massachusetts you can see a lot of them are actually around the Boston area and they do go out pretty far in Pittsfield I don't even know where that is <laughs> Burlington, Woburn, Winchester, Medford, Malden and these are all the different cities so 163 from there you can even see how many were new and how many were balances like we talked about before and how long they were staying on the site so five hits from Somerville for some reason they actually stay on the site shorter than people in Boston so it's, it can get pretty addicting when you're looking at these different numbers returning back to the dashboard traffic sources overview this is a really effective um, page for anyone that's doing online advertising or just wants to see what's working uh, for instance these guys um, get 17% direct traffic. Those are people that actually type in the name of the website in the address bar, say if it was up here, that's what they, they, where they do it, that's a direct visit. Referring site is if your link is on another website, like a directory, and somebody comes and visits your site from there, that would be a referred site. Search engine, that's either uh, AdWords visit or you know just an organic thing. Uh, it doesn't have, to, not just Google, Yahoo, Bing, whatever search engines they use, that would be in this category. So top traffic sources, they get most of their hits from Google. That would be 288 visits this month for people searching these various keywords. Polkari's Coffee, Polkari's Boston. A lot of people that are searching for um, Polkari's in Boston. Uh, Living Social, Yahoo, they get a lot of hits from Yelp. They actually have a perfect score on Yelp, um, which is very impressive. A lot of people will find them on that. Uh, network. I'm not going to get into what Yelp is or what it does. It's basically an online reviews site. Uh, that'll be for another video. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you all there. Uh, keywords, you can v view the full report. Uh, go down, see what else they're getting. You know, hits for Boston coffee shops, Boston Polkari's Coffee Boston, Boston Coffee, coffee shops in Boston. Very, very good hits. Um, a lot of people would did a lot of money on those keywords so it's pretty impressive hopefully these people don't show up um, you know with their coffee craving and realize they only have grounds I'm not sure what <laughs> they can do from there they might be a little disappointed but I'm sure if they do purchase the coffee they will not be disappointed moving back to the dashboard I'll show you what else is on here and content overview so say you have a website with your different services that you offer you may want to see what people are more interested in or what pages they're spending their time on this is where you can do it so their coffee page gets the most um, traffic so you can expand that the coffee page had 513 page views 206 people um, so it's pretty interesting average time on page greater than a minute let's see so as you go down there's all kinds of stuff you can do all over on the left here you can also do um, custom reporting custom reports uh, that's pretty advanced stuff I'm not going to get into that that's something that we actually offer as a service with setting up if you have certain kinds of goals or milestones to reach or you're doing a special ad campaign you need to make some custom URL some custom landing pages that you want to test out 
uh, that's all stuff that you can do um, with those features.